Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Marmoset. I'm sat here with my glorious, glorious Lossalot. And we've figured out that you can kind of make these things slightly larger. But the, apparently the key binding to making these things larger and smaller isn't necessarily working. So we're going to quite quickly just create a district based around our circular oh, residential it's zone. A slice of watermelon. <laughs> slice of water leather. Yeah, watermelon. Melon, 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 melon. You know melon. The, the watermelon, right? A little bit, yeah. Okay, it doesn't look like a slice of watermelon. Really. Okay, not to me. I mean, it doesn't look that watermelony. It's red with yellow and green lines. Isn't it a watermelon? Maybe. <laughs> so we can click on here. And what's the name of this area? It's made of circles. What's an animal that's got lots of circles on it? Question. Uh, animal with lots of spots. Spots, yeah. Dalmatian. Dalmatian. Dalmatian heights. <laughs> Dalmatian heights. There we go. Shiny. Do we have any no city-wide policies? Of course, these are Dalmatian heights. Yeah, fine. Um, smoke detector. Five. Sense a building. Reduce the risk of fire. Uh, I'm not going to worry about too much about that. We have Dimension Heights. But the main thing we discovered last time was when we released this is we've got lots of ore. We've got lots and lots of ore. So we are going to be putting in a mining district. Now I'm going to give that a dedicated junction off here to make sure that we don't end up with lots of problems with traffic. So that's that dedicated road gone in. So let's let's drop the district down first. So it's vaguely in that area. Okay. Paint me a nice big district. So this whole area over here. Let's just quickly check our ore supply. And then click back to the districts. I was painting. It makes a nice little whooshy noise. That whole area is ory. <laughs> not quite that whole area. There's not nearly as much in that corner. Okay. So we're done. What's the name of a grey animal? Animals that are just dull grey. Well, greyhound. Greyhound is not grey. It's called greyhound. It's grey in the name. It could be anything but grey. No, the greyhounds are not grey all the time. Alright, fine, you call it greyhound. Fine. Greyhound. Donkeys are grey. Donkey mites are the all right. Yeah, donkeys it's are grey. <laughs> So we will have a road that simply comes up to here to start with, and just double check that, yep, that goes through the mining area, and we will merrily paint that. And then we need to go to District Tab, select that. Okay, how do we... Policies, Default Style, Average Zoning, Land Value, Donkey Mines. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Ah, there we go, Industrial Specialization. Generic Industry. Alright, for the moment, we apparently can't make mines. <laughs> we need to reach the next population. No, it's Boomtown before we can actually make mine. So that, um. Can save it there, no? Yeah, well, we do need a little bit more industry. So I will leave that painted as industry. Make sure it's got a. Water supply. And make sure that uh, all of Dalmatian Heights also has a water supply. And then unports. 
Donkey Mines, Dalmatian Heights. Still have got a demand for residential and commercial. Still got a huge chunk of our loan left, and we're still making money. Let's uh, put the speed up. So let's see if once all this lot's filled in, whether or not we still have any demand for any of these things. There's ding noises going on, which is telling me, yes, look, a little pappy arrow. So some of our buildings are upgrading because we've got police and fire in. These are little happy arrows. Everything's a bit low density at the moment, so it's all quite low lying. Oh, lovely, nice central strip along here. Still not getting any traffic problems, so I'm not going to really uh, make too much of an effort to upgrade any of these roads. This is just kind of future proofing up here. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, so our demands have gone down. Getting a little bit of increase for industrial, and our commercial demand is coming up. So, we should probably look at making a little commercial district. So, our industry is going to end up probably much further on this side of this. So this is just our kind of a starter industry. So, do you want to make a... What kind of shape should we make our commercial district in? Should we make a diamond? Or an yeah, octagon? Yeah, we'll try an octagon. Uh, we'll just be having a circle anyway. Because we octagon, octagon, octagon. Fine, okay. <laughs> So an octagon is what? 80? Eight-sided. Eight-sided. I think I could probably do a hexagon reasonably easily. Yeah. But the angle's going to be a little bit tricky. Hmm, that cost me 400. If I... Let me delete it. Refund 300. Alright, so it cost me $100 to lay a template out. Fine. There we go. I've made a hexagon. Nice. I have made a hexagon. So let's make sure our hexagon has some water. Nice bit of blanketing over there. Let's get my district tool on. In one click spluk, we can do that, but uh, let's drag it down to the slightly larger tool and Make sure we track it exactly so we get everything we want. And we are going to name this the B shops. Because it's, it's a hexagon, so it has to be bees. Okay, fair enough. It has to be bees. Mm, yeah, I don't I'm not feeling the need for wasps. <laughs> yeah, what's what's it's not a lot of no, 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 I'm not... B shopping. B shopping. Apparently I misclicked. B shopping. Shops for bees. And they're filling in quite nicely. Not much industrial demand, because the guys out here haven't uh, woken up yet. We got power, yes, we got power. It's got some empty space. We're still repaying our loan. Our city is ticking along nicely, and we're in fact we are going to be hitting our next milestone quite soon. Should be a nice little city. I wonder what uh, problem they're going to throw at us this time. So you can begin to see that they're getting a bit more traffic along this road. Um, not too much of a problem. I mean, everything is gently ticking along. Let's uh, just do a quick fire hazard. Is fine. Thank you for fire safety. Crime. Nope. Crime is pretty low. Health. All good. Education. 
the school availability. We've got uh, 306 people available, but we've got quite a few more people want. So it looks like we might actually have a demand for another school. Okay. It's a bit earlier than I was expecting it to be. Let's uh, let's put another school in then. How much is it going to cost us? Only 160 a week. Can't put it on the inside, I'm afraid, because there's not quite enough space. But we can put it there, which is, and the people there are happy. Fortunately, someone's built directly opposite it immediately. No, oh, it solved the power problem, but I think. Yeah, we're running out of power again. I don't really want to put a coal power plant in. Yeah, I think another turbine. As close as we can get it to save space. Probably be getting rid of these later once we're. Uh, water is still absolutely amazing. But I might go to the our economy tab. Taxes, budget. And drastically trim that. Yep, that had the the effect of causing us problems. <laughs> so we can now, yeah, new services, decorations. We can now put down a high school. Ooh, yep, a high school. I do want cell heating in my population. So crashing that has made us a bit of money, but unfortunately has resulted in us not having enough water all of a sudden. So let's just leave it so that we're drastically oversubscribed. And let's see, if we, should we put the high school in the middle, in the gap? Let's see how big it is. Ooh, that's a bit noisy. Ooh, parks. That's how big it is. Alright, so it's about that big. So if we just extend that road just a little bit. We can tuck it in there. Wow. All of the happy places. Yeah. They're also going to want parks. Parks around the place. Yeah. Well, it helps everyone. Everyone likes having parks. So. A large playground. That's pretty enormous. I thought that was a green. Hmm. Well, I mean, we can have a, a small little park. That's quite big. <laughs> See, that's actually a bit smaller. I mean, let's have a Japanese garden opposite the uh, opposite the school. No, it didn't do as many people as I thought it would be. Plaza with picnic tables. In the industrial area. Well, this is really? no, this is near the bees. Well, it's near the shopping area, but has not the industrial area. So. Yeah. Well, it's very smelly. Wow. That will be extremely smelly. Though. That's a huge, great big park. It fits. <laughs> if it fits, then. <laughs> if it fits, it sits. I mean, how much is it? It's only $40 a week. It costs us five grand. We can easily afford it. If it fits, it sits, and bother that house is going to, uh, you know, the price on that on the house that, that's built. Ooh, we can build cycle lanes. Um, let's put a plaza with trees. In the shopping centre to improve the uh, quality of our shopping, and a plaza with picnic tables. Well, I don't want to put a little bit of stuff over here because these people do like having access to nice parks and the like of it. Yes. What we can do is stick a um, a park there. That'll make a lot of people happy. So we've got three parks down. It's quite dangerous to get to that park. <laughs> it is. It? It's mostly kind of things. Oh, that looks like a really nice park. Why did they put it in the middle of a dead great big interchange? That's not the brightest thing in the world to do. But yeah, that's where we're going to stick it. Um, and let's grab a little something. Just a gravel path for letting people walk. We've we locked down any new roads yet? Highway ramp. Pavement path. 
I was pretty convinced there was a service road option around. No, I'm just clicking buttons now, making it, making it make whooshy noises. Ah, there it is. Two lane gravel road. No, I don't really want to demolish someone's house back, so I don't, I don't want to just leave these as they are and maybe put some trees in. Yeah, okay. Trees! Trees. I do. That may be because I was fucking around with the budget. Yes, it's because I was screwing around with the budget. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of noises telling me that people are upgrading, so they're reasonably happy. Population is increasing at 60 a bit. Our demands generally are null. No one's moved into this area yet. At our next unlock, we get transports, we can make buses and taxis, we can have our ore mines at last, so we can start hauling things out of the ground, and we get a load of new roads, including bus highways and bus lanes, and bus depots, and the advanced turbine thing which we wanted. We also apparently need to be able to bury the dead again now, because previously people had just been lying dead in their houses, or we'd just been throwing them into the garbage tip. In the garbage tip? That's a bit more of it. Yeah. The bee shopping area is doing quite well. Dalmatian Heights. I can just get. If I think for this area of the city, I'm just going to keep continuing this theme of just this entire area. Circles, area. There is circles, circles and hexagons just all the way down here for this area of the city, and then the other side of this line is just going to be the uh, our industry specialisation. Maybe when we get buy a new area, new services unlocked. Yeah, so I haven't actually unlocked any of these yet because I don't have access to any of those things. But yes, we have all of these up and running. Yes, so there's the poo. That's a lot of poo. Yeah, flowing out to sea. You're doing something with this. Uh, eventually we'll get sewage treatment. Tree. You can, but not yet. There's a piece of land available. So we could buy this piece of land, which would ultimately just be a bit of the, the water we're moving in. Uh, there's this bit of land. Are you, you going to build a sewage treatment plant there? So you can see, resource-wise, there's not... There is some... oil under here, apparently. You can just about see the edge of it. Um, but, I mean, I'm pr probably buy this one on the other side. And then we'll have to look at refitting the road, the highway junction. Probably. I think like we get one. So you can see we've got a railway line going through here as well. So if I were to build on that side, we could put a railway connection in and start shipping our oil to other places. So I think if we are going to buy one, it's five and a half now. I have absolutely no desire to buy it yet. Um, I think we will do that later. I mean, once we probably once we get the the ore mines up, then it'll probably be worthwhile doing it. But yes, let's not bother with just that. Oh, we've got massive demand for people again. So, looks like we'll be growing our city that bit much more. But that'll be in the next episode. So this is the end of uh, today's little episode of City Skylines, where we mostly just made a hexagon and then chatted about it and then tuck in some parks and some schools. Next episode, given our demand for residential is increasing, well, Dalmatian Heights is probably going to be growing as we're going to have more of these circular spotty pattern going all the way down this side of the map. Probably for every three of these, for every section of this we'll do, we'll probably make sure we've got a bit of bee shopping along the other side. So a long line of hexagons going down here. Don't quite know how we'll line them up. I suspect I'll just actually just make it a honeycomb and just have the diagonals coming off. I'll see the yeah, 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 it's fine. And we've queued up our all mining for our, when we hit our next milestone. So thank you very much. I've been the Marmoset. She's been the Ocelot. If you've liked and enjoyed this, please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.